guys, it's Sean and Jake here from uh, Scuff Productions, and today we are uh, out on the Poudre River, it's a fishing some runoff, we've got some pretty uh, high conditions for the last couple of days with a lot of rain, and uh, we're going to see what we can do out here today. Alright, so all we're going to be fishing today is we got an indicator, I like to run a 9 foot 3x section down until I get to a swivel, this is a size 10 swivel. I run about eight inches of line, and then I have a stone fly, a heavy weighted nymph. This is my point fly today. The point of this is to get my flies down. I run about a 10 or 12 inch section until I'm gonna be running a scud. The scud is my middle fly, and then I'll run another 10 or 12 inches until I have a micro mayfly on. So even in high water, don't be afraid to be throwing small flies. So we'll see what we can do. All right, so when you first start fishing in high water, especially runoff, I like to fish right by my feet. So I'll take a couple of drifts right off to start. One thing that I always look for is I'm trying to hook the bottom or get some weeds or rocks off the bat. That way I know I'm getting deep enough. The other thing in runoff is since we are fishing deep, you're gonna have a lot of junk on your flies. So make sure to clean that off. What this means is I'm actually a good depth so I'm going to move out a little bit further and see what I can't get. A little bit of a mess. So the other thing is I like to fish a lot of this softer water. A lot of these bubbles will indicate where these eddies are. Make sure you guys are hitting on everything too because you never know if it's going to be a snag or a, <clears throat> a fish. Oh, got a big weed. You're gonna get a lot of gunk when you're fishing in runoff. Clean these guys off. So we'll go out a little bit further now. <clears throat> Make sure when you guys are fishing, you're keeping your line off the water. Nice and high. So you can fish an assorted of nymphs. You can fish worms and stoneflies and oh! I think that was the first miss of the day. Yeah, I did. That went under good. Oh, that is a snag actually. You know, if it goes down like that twice, it's not a fish, it's a snag. We don't have much visibility at all. We're fishing about. Jake, what do you think the visibility is? Water? Yeah, eight inches. Eight inch yeah, it's pretty. Dark patterns, especially black, show up really well on visibility like this. We're just gonna keep working on this bank, cleaning yeah, off our gunk. Yeah. Got a bunch of birds flying around today. It is gorgeous. We've been getting nailed with rain. Move up the spank a little bit. All right. Especially in runoff, once you find one fish, you're gonna find a bunch of fish, especially in the softer water. Now we're getting down deep enough, we just gotta start. The water could also be a little bit cold after all the rain overnight. Let's see what we got coming right down through here. Good news is in high water, fish aren't gonna be too picky about the patterns that you throw. Just got to get it down in front of them. All right guys, so if you're having trouble getting fish, one of the first things that I always do is I change my depth. Oh, first one of the day. 
We got a fired up rainbow. Fired up. Oh, that's a good fish. He took the scud. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. One of the trickiest parts about landing these fish is these three ply lit rigs like to get tangled up. Oh, he is. I should have brought a net. Unfortunately, the one thing we forgot today was the net. Courtesy of me. Oh! He is fired up. All right. So we've found, we've managed to find a good amount of fish off to the right side of this rock. I'm gonna take advantage of that. This is this rock up here is creating an eddy, so all these fish are stacked up behind it and to the uh, right of it. We just got to get our depth right. Jake, how deep are you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm fishing six feet to my swivel, and then I have about uh, 30 inches of tippet and flies below that. Nice and slow. This deep, slow water is just going to be stacked up with fish. Get her nice in this bubble line. Make sure I mend, keep my rod up off the water, and wait for that indicator to go down. Make sure to keep checking your flies, Jake, especially if they have. There is a lot of gunk coming down in runoff. Ooh. Looked good, but it wasn't a fish. I'm gonna scoot down here a little bit. I like the way that this water comes off this eddy. It's a little fast up there still. Sometimes in runoff, you're only gonna get a couple pools to fish all day, so make sure you take advantage of that. Here in the Rockies, especially during runoff, we like to fish worms, scuds. You can throw plenty of small flies, but I like to throw little beefier presentations right off the bat. One of the biggest things that we get is caddis. There's always a ton of caddis. So we'll see if we can't get on any dry flies later on. Just keep working this seam. Got a nice brown and a little rainbow. Oh, we switched over to the streamer. Got a nice brown out of it. Throwing the thin mint tight to the bank in high water. He is fired up. <laughs> oh man. Is that a thin mint? Yep. That is a big streamer. That is a not too bad. Nope, you had him good the other way. Oh, there we go. Oh, he is wiggling. Oh, he's pissed. Not too bad. Look at that. Off we go. High water, those fish are sitting right on those banks. They're trying to get it. Oh, we got one. Oh, came off. Oh, that's a good one. We got another good one. It's hard to land these fish in high water. 
He's staying down. This is why it's important to use heavy tippet. These fish are fired up. Oh, another nice fish. Beautiful brown on that streamer. Look at the colors on that fish. Well guys, it's a little rougher of a day than we expected, but we got into a few fish today. Jake, what do you think? It's pretty all right. Good for runoff. A couple fish and one bird. A new, a new record. All right, we'll see you next time.